welcome to a brand new video. We are currently in Venice. We arrived here yesterday, last night, um, and I have got a very good video installed today. We are going to be, well, I'm essentially gonna be doing a full day of eating, but a cheat day in Venice. I'm literally going to be eating whatever I want, eat all the nice Italian food, do a bit of sightseeing, shopping for Hannah. We have been here before, but we literally can't remember any of it, and we are staying in a completely different place. We are staying uh, by the Rialto Bridge, so there are many nice like restaurants around here. It is currently half past eight. We are very excited to get up and get out, so we are gonna head out and try and find some breakfast this morning. Hannah wants some croissants, croissants some pan au chocolat. Well. I'm gonna eat many pastries, many pizzas this weekend. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> Shout out to any of my Italian subscribers. I know I have a couple because they comment on my videos. Ciao. Grazie mille for subscribing. Let's go and get some food. So let's head out. And get some breakfast, coffee. get a coffee. I have to record some of it on my phone because I've only got one battery and if this dies, that's not good. <laughs> Game over, but I can also use the phone, so. Let's go and get some food. Cute little street. We are staying down. <laughs> How was your trip, Han? <laughs> Let the fun begin. Oof. The Rialto Bridge. Tourist stuff. This is where we at last night. Pizza number one. Hands obsessed with cats. Touch the pussy. That's what she said. Ah. <laughs> oh. It's probably just like a takeaway. So, according to our sources, this is the oldest bakery in Venice. My cousin, thank you, Elliot. Um, food looks very good. We have found a bench in the middle of a park. Um, first impressions, it smelled very good. The shop was tiny, so we didn't like eat in there. There's nowhere to eat inside. So essentially, I've just picked up a little pit stop snack. Hannah's got like a little cookie thing. Um, I have got, I'm not really counting this as meal number one, but, oh, the tissue stuck. We've got like a panna raisin with like custard on top, and then a croissant, or croissant, with, again, some sort of filling. I have no idea what the name of these are and what they taste like. Let's start with this one. <laughs> I just inhaled <laughs> loads of flour or icing sugar. That is so good. In all honesty, that tastes unbelievable, but I was a little bit disappointed with the shop, we thought it was gonna be like more variety, you could sit in, yeah. get a coffee. So that is gonna be the next plan, look at my lap. I am covered in crumbs. Tissue is stuck, oh God. Job in itself to uncover the custard. Mm. It's warm. So good. I feel like I'm gonna really be saying that a lot during this video. Hannah got like a chocolate shortbread. chocolate shortbread cookie thing. You weren't too, she wasn't too sure what to get, so you just yeah, you didn't want to be rude. I obviously don't have the macros and calories on each product, so just enjoy the video. Last bite. We move on. Little coffee break. Hannah's got a croissant, she's happy. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get your hot chocolate. They're cappuccinos. 
so much smaller than ours in the UK. Mm. You can literally drink that in one sip. Good croissant? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Lovely. I just love it all by time. It's warm as well. It's Very warm. Enjoy. Nice stuff. I think as you get older, stuff like this, the architecture, is crazy. We've been here uh, probably like six or seven years ago, and you just don't take like stuff like that in when you're a bit younger. Mental. We are currently in Hannah's heaven, designer shops everywhere. We have a a Louis Vuitton. What is it he says? It's a Louis Vuitton. That is a Louis Vuitton. What are you doing? <laughs> right, shopping done. Hannah's got her perfume, perfume from Celine. I know, I'm so quick, I'm so quick. I <laughs> yeah. knew exactly what they I They were so good, they gave us like um, ideas for places to go for drinks and food. Um, so very, very good custom service, and they gave us a drink. Yeah, very nice. All because she got some perfume. <laughs> we have got so lucky with the weather as well, because the guy in the shop was saying yesterday it was raining, but today, tomorrow, and Monday, we leave on Monday. I'm supposed to be like this the whole time. Very happy. Uh, as this is a cheat day, I have not had anywhere near as much food as I was hoping to have so far. Obviously we've just done a bit of shopping, so the plan now is to track down some pizza or pasta or anything. You got it yet? So do not go anywhere. Also, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Look at that. Now we are talking, I've got a, what was that? Four it's cheese. a four cheese salami pizza. Just what I've been waiting for. Oh God, that is unreal. This isn't even lunch. This is gonna be like, between, this is a brunch. Salami. So good. It's very greasy though. Hmm? Very greasy. That is better than the uh, pizza we had last night. Isn't that? I think it might be. I have no idea what the shop's called. There's no, uh, there's no name for the shop. <clears throat> you are on a uh, fire thing. We just realized the name of the place is on the uh, pizza box. Farini Venezia, that is the place. Go there if you are in Venice. The best pizzas. I have got incredibly lucky out on our travels. For any uh, watch enthusiasts, you'll know exactly what this is. I have got a couple um, of the Omega Swatch co collab, like the, I've got the moon, the sun, and this is the rarest one. I can't believe I actually got it. We just casually walked past, and I think they had just got a delivery in the door, uh, and she went out the back. And a Neptune, which is the rarest one. They are very hard to get. I've tried in London, Milan, um, where else have I checked? A few other places to try and get this watch. Uh, I can get out of the box. Yeah, we've got the blue 
Neptune Omega Swatch. Um, but I love my watches. Very cool. That pizza as well was incredible. Probably the one of the best. Definitely top five pizzas I've ever had. A lot of you probably do not care. It's just a watch, but I love my watches. I've got my new baby on, my Cartier Santos. Another one added to the collection. It's time to go and get some more food. Um, what is the time actually? 10 to 12. 10 to 12, so it's not even really lunchtime yet, but we are gonna get some more steps in. We've done 10,000 already, I just checked. 10,000? So yeah, we're gonna head back out, get a few more steps in, let this pizza go down. Probably end up getting another pizza, I'm not gonna lie. We will see. And then we're gonna chill out on the main like canal, I think. Anyway, back to the food. Urgent update, I did have a my second pizza of the day at a very nice little uh, restaurant right next to the like main canal bridge and as they put the food down a seagull came in and it literally smacked me on the back of the head, tried grabbing the pizza uh, and taking it away and pretty much the whole restaurant was looking at me laughing so I didn't film too much of that but I did eat another like pepperoni pizza which is also very good luckily actually or not luckily another it happened to another person in the restaurant while we we're there so it must be a seagull hotspot for trying to take food away just having a little stroll down like the main canal I'm dying to get a crepe I feel like that's something I want to tick off my list for today so fingers crossed I can find a crepe I just want like a Nutella pancake Apparently we're supposed to get rain tonight, which looking at the weather now, it's all blue skies. So I have no, oh, actually, there's clouds over there. Forecasting rain at nine o'clock, which is when we'll probably be out eating. So we need to find a sensible location for dinner. Moving on. Possible the Nutella crepe. The one thing I have been looking forward to all day. We are both struggling with energy. I am extremely tired, my legs need a break, but I'm still hungry, so this is gonna go down an absolute treat. It's different. It looks a bit weird. Mm. It's a bit like bubbly. It's more chewy than a normal pancake. One thing I've noticed is there is literally nowhere to like sit, put a camera somewhere in Venice. In fact, there's like signs behind here saying you're not allowed to sit, hence why I'm perched on the floor. There's also a sign there. Anyway, we're going to move on because we're getting funny looks with the camera. Just getting ready to head out for some dinner. We've had a good hour just chilling at the apartment, getting some life back in us. We are both absolutely shattered. A lot, a lot of moving, a lot of getting lost. So we're going to head out now. Uh, and get some tea, pasta, I think. Unless they have a free the mare pizza, which is like a seafood pizza, I think I'm gonna go for the pasta alternative. So that'll be my third pizza. Huh? I have had two pizzas, but there's nothing wrong with having three pizzas, guys, especially on a cheat day in Italy. Ooh. I am very rosy. I still can't get over the fact, oh, wrong button that my pizza almost got stolen by a seagull and the embarrassment. I literally was about to start filming and dive bomb me 
Because everyone knew that you were preoccupied. Yeah, and like, oh, it knew I was filming, <laughs> so I thought it would take advantage and try and take my pizza. I was very humiliated and everyone was laughing, so... But then they put someone else and they smashed the glass. Um, they did smash the glass. I'm going to leave this big ass camera here and I'm just going to take my phone. Um, so I will try my best, or I will, get some shots of tonight's dinner. Who knew that this was a thing? It is alcoholic, but it's 1.3% alcohol. Beer, Moretti, lemon. Very refreshing and a nice, I wish they had it in the UK, but I would definitely be snapping that you up. Probably order it Try it. Right you probably got it on Amazon or something like that. Taste. Ah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Yes, it is the next day. Um, things got a little bit out of control last night. Not really, but we ended up going for a very, very nice dinner at a place called Osteria del Lova. Yes, I'm looking at it on my phone. If you are going to Venice and you want to try out a very nice restaurant, it was very like bougie, posh, um, and quite small and quaint. It was a very nice place to go and eat. Uh, I ended up getting a, a seafood linguine, was that type of thing, uh, and Hannah got a carbonara, which I did try some of that. It was extremely good, but very rich. Uh, the seafood linguine was also probably one of the best meals I have ever had. Obviously, I love seafood. We were on the hunt for some more food on the way back from the restaurant to our apartment here. Um, unfortunately, it rained pretty heavily last night and we had no umbrella, so we ended up going back to a jazz bar, which we went to for a drink before we went to this um, restaurant and we got stuck in there for many hours because the music was very good uh, and actually they threw in a few like hip-hop songs towards the end but anyway definitely worth trying out the jazz bar that's a very good point it sounds like it's gonna be like a jazz bar but it's not it's more like um, old classics ACDC um, ugh, I can't even think it's too early I'm very tired we're about to go and catch the boat over to Burano which we didn't do last time we stayed in Venice and that brings you up to speed today I am definitely going to try and find some gelato some ice cream because we haven't had that yet on our journey over here yes very good very good like first full day in Venice a lot of good eating a lot of steps my like my right glute is hurting for some reason I don't know if I've slept funny in the bed but yeah I felt that when I was putting my trousers on this morning 